G'day guys, Chris here from Bogus Prospecting. Today we're doing a really cool video. We're going to do River Sluice versus Rocker Box and we're going to see which one can get more gold. Now there is a little bit of theory behind this madness. I've got Joel out here with me. He's going to be working the River Sluice. To run a River Sluice properly, you need to screen dirt, which means that he has to dig pans of dirt, screen them down and fill those 40 litre buckets up with that dirt. When those two buckets are full, he's got the equivalent to 160 litres of screen dirt that he can then run through the river sluice. Screening takes the longest amount of time. I'm going to be using the rocker box or the cradle. Now the cradle, I don't have to screen dirt, but I can't work as much, um, I can't work as much pay as what Joel can. So it should be an interesting race. I can consistently work dirt, but Joel can work more. Let's find out who's going to win. To make things as fair as I can possibly make them, we're digging out of the same hole from the same pay layer. We have been getting about five specs per pan. Um, so, and we've both been consistently getting that, which means that it should be a good fair race. Same hole, um, he's got a head start. I think that's unfair. <laughs> same hole, same spec count in our pans. Uh, and I've got a potato sack. I really think this is an unfair race. What do you reckon, Grizzly? <laughs> a bit ambitious in my rock. <laughs> 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 Too much. <laughs> it's a hard life where I get to sit on a bucket rock and cradle and Joel's here digging his heart out trying to screen some dirt. <laughs> <laughs> taking the test band of the dirt that was underneath that rock um, see what was under it this is only one shovel's worth of dirt though so hey look at that one shovel and we're getting that nice that's a real good spec count Joel just found a really nice handful of different colored dirt that was underneath that boulder it's in a really particular area and I said do a test band um, he put one handful of dirt in and pulled out one two three four specks so from a handful of dirt four specks and that's why you always check uh different changes in dirt if you find dirt that's a different color different consistency it's got different rock in it test pan it because you might find a new pay layer uh, the layer that you really want to chase because it's got loads more gold or you might find that even though it looks really good it's got no gold in it you only know if you test test every time you find a new type of dirt All right, Joel's up to run his first bucket of pay dirt, and I have preset the sluice up so he's ready to go. And this is what we want: nice bounce in the ripples, nice even water flow across the whole thing. Let's get going. All right. Hey, Dwayne. Got to be a little bit of excitement. We've got gold. Yeah. Just got called over because Joel goes, "Oh, there's a nice, decent speck in there," and I was like, "Oh yeah." I get over there and it's bloody huge. <laughs> you can see it from space. That's a nice speck of alluvial gold right there. All right, we have cleanup time. This is Joel's first bucket gone through for the day we're going to do a full day comp not just based on one run because yeah that'll give us a better idea i think so this first bucket down we've got one nice nice spec that we already sucked back up in that sucker bottle because we did not want to lose it um so that won't be in this showing but i know there's going to be gold in it Yeah. 
The excitement is real. <laughs> this is the best part, seeing the concentrates from a sluice. Got plenty of ironstone in it. See some gold. It's coming out. Oh, yeah, that's not so bad. That's so that's half a back, half a bucket to get that. Plus a little bit that we sucked up in the snuffer bottle. So a little bit of gold there. Yep. Now we just need more dirt. We just did the uh, clean out of the river sluice mats. I'm about to clean out my potato sack and see what kind of gold's in there. Now, this is the theory. We work for the same amount of time, but because Joel had to screen his dirt and I didn't have to screen my dirt, I started earlier. However, the river sluice is a hell of a lot more efficient at getting more dirt down at quicker. So, for the same time period, who got more gold? That's the question. You just saw Joel's gold? We're going to find out what's in my potato sack. Part finding out if there's any gold sitting there at the top. Oh, there is. Look at it. One there. And a whole heap up through here. So it's it's there. Oh, look at these two specs. Very nice. All right. Let's wash it out. Here we go. The answer to is a river sluice or a rocker box more efficient. It's about to be answered. Oh, I've got gold. Is it enough to take the win though? <laughs> oh man, have I got some gold or what? I think I just won. <laughs> I think Joel's going to be really, really disappointed about his loss. He's still got gold. He's still got gold. But that was the same exact time period. And I think I did manage to pull out a bit more. I should put up a side-by-side -side comparison, I'm thinking, of both so you can see. But I reckon I've got slightly more. That's interesting, isn't it? All right, I'm going to go show Joel and then we'll run our conclusion. Yeah, apparently a rocker box is slightly more efficient than a river sluice. And I think it comes down to just the fact that I don't have to spend time screening dirt. I can just wash it straight away. So it's more like a high banker, basically. However, river sluice is still a hell of an effective tool um, if you can get quantity of dirt a lot quicker. Uh, which just means if you don't have to move big ass rocks like we did today, yeah. <laughs> um, then you'll get probably a better result from it. Very interesting to note. Still happy with my potato sack catching gold too. We're going to keep mining. We'll show you all the gold we collect for the day. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the subscribe button if you like my channel. Uh, my book's out, The Gold Prospector's Handbook. That's available for purchase. The link's down in the description below. And as always, guys, I hope to catch you out here sometime and check out this gold.